The buffalo nickel, sometimes called the Indian head nickel, is a U.S. five-cent coin that was designed by sculptor James Earl Frazier in 1912. It was part of the Mint's campaign to beautify American coins and featured a realistic portrait of a Native American on one side and an image of a buffalo on the other. It was produced at the Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco Mints from 1913 to 1938. For the front, Frazier sculptured the head of a Native American, which he said was a composite based on models that included Chief Irontail of the Lakota Sioux and Chief Two Moons of the Cheyenne. The model for the buffalo image was reportedly Black Diamond, the largest bison in captivity who grazed at the time at New York's Central Park Zoo. But did you know that the first buffalo nickels were introduced at a ceremony that proposed to build a monument to honor Native Americans that never happened? The first buffalo nickels were struck on February the 22nd, 1913. They were unofficially introduced into limited circulation at a groundbreaking ceremony for the National American Indian Memorial in Staten Island, New York. Forty of these new nickels were sent to the ceremony to be distributed by President Taft to the attending Native American chiefs. The National American Indian Memorial was the brainchild of Rodman Wanamaker, a proposed monument to American Indians to be erected on the bluff overlooking the main entrance to the New York Harbor. Ground was broken to begin the construction in 1913, but the project was never completed and no physical trace remains today. And you may not know that there were thousands of nickels minted with a three-legged buffalo. In 1937, a worker at the Denver Mint polished a buffalo nickel die to remove the clash marks, or marks and scratches that occur when dies are stored in direct contact with each other. Unfortunately, this worker did his job too thoroughly and not only removed all the clash marks, but one of the buffalo's legs as well. Amazingly, this mistake was not called until after thousands of three-legged nickels had been minted and put into circulation. And now you know more about the buffalo nickel. <laughs>